Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in tonight. Go ahead and share this video, you guys. Go ahead and like. So for announcements, I do have full readings for $25 or mini readings for $15 if you are interested. I am also selling my boxes, you guys. We'll wait because I want to do the reading first. All right. And then I'll show you those if you're interested in buying one of those. Also, <laughs> let me think. I said the readings. You can check out my Instagram, my YouTube. You guys go subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. <laughs> I know I'm getting so nervous. <laughs> let me calm down. <laughs> yeah, you go check out my YouTube. <laughs> At Divine Vibe, you guys. D I V I N V I B E. People be spell trying to spell it with the E after divine, no E, okay? <sighs> Why? Let me let me catch my breath. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. I'm feeling really good. So yeah, you guys, that's my announcement. So book a reading if you want. Support. Go like and subscribe to Divine Vibe. Um, YouTube and my page, okay? What else? Is that it? <laughs> Is that all I have to say? Oh yeah, and also, I am an intuitive reader, you guys. <laughs> so I may get a few messages at a time during this reading. So with that, it is general. So we, we got everybody coming on here. Plus, I'm doing this live. So I'm getting energy as I'm speaking. Okay, that's how we do this. So if you hear something that sounds like it resonates with you, then it does. Okay, you hear you like, oh my God, that's for me. And if it don't, then that's probably for somebody else. And they're probably saying the same thing as you, okay? <sighs> All right, but rather than that, let's get started. I hope this message do resonate with you and I hope it helps you, okay? I'm thinking four. Who magician? Okay. And I'm thinking. I saw the high priestess in the higher front. That's a couple or her. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, somebody's manifesting, so try to manifest money, okay, let's see what we get, <clears throat> would it be weird if I went live back to back, like after I, if I got off of this one, I came back on for another one, but like, for like a love reading, for like a you versus them, if you guys are interested, let me know. For some reason, I feel like sometimes I need to do love readings a little bit separate from my general. Because love will always tell me. But general, I can get a mixture. So if you guys are interested, and you guys would like me to do like a live... Um... <laughs> yeah, I came on because you... I wasn't going to do a reading, but... When I when you posted... When you posted that and you, co and you commented on the post... <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I need to do this reading. So thank you, boo. Thank you. <laughs> All right. But yeah, you guys, I can do a you versus them if you like. It could be like you and your current lover, you or your ex. Or I can just put you versus somebody that you've had a relationship with. And when I call it out, you don't know who I'm talking about. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I don't mind doing love readings like that if you if that will help you guys get some peace for some of you guys or if you need to <clears throat> excuse me get some clarity about the situation. But angel, okay, answers to spirit guides. Thank you. Okay. We got three major arcanas. We got the lovers, the hangman, and the high priestess. Okay, we saw I saw this earlier. This is Taurus um, energy. This can be seen as Gemini, Libra, and, Gemini, Libra. <laughs> Gem, somebody must be a Libra. Gemini energy or Pisces. Somebody, wow. Okay, somebody's having. A, <laughs> I guess I don't. This may be a lover. Look, somebody's having an awakening, or something came to light about a lover. <laughs> but I'll clarify that. And you know, so it's you know this. Okay, high priestess, they know. I'm like, you know what I'm about to say, in a sense, all right? 
very intuitive okay very smart very intelligent very centered in yourself all right that means if i came up to you and i was trying to lie in front of your face you would know okay you would know <laughs> Okay, and you didn't even have to call me out, but you would know, okay, and you could choose how you want to control this situation because you're intelligent and you see through things and people. All right, Frank, that's you, right? Okay, look, <laughs> very, very intuitive. Okay, let's get. Where do you have that? Oh, I saw this earlier thing. I didn't want. Oh, well, it is good. Wow. Wow, I saw this earlier. <laughs> okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. Somebody is about their money, honey. <laughs> Woo, wow, that just like flipped on me. Do you see that? Oh my God. Somebody is probably, this is divine feminine. Oh my God, that's so weird. And something also flipped over. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let me give that a quick shuffle. That almost like took me for a surprise right there. Somebody's coming to the completion. The Temperance card with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, not, on, not only do you have lovers in here, you got the Ten of Pentacles. You got angels around you. You got angels trying to come in your love life for some of you guys. Like, really spiritually support it. Like, spiritually support it. In every way possible. Somebody can be really spiritual. Or going through an awakening. Or somebody experienced something that hurt them. Because usually when people have an awakening, it's be, like, it's you, I, from my understanding, from what I've been through, a uh, hangman usually, um, they were probably once stuck, but they become enlightened to some type of truth, okay? And it's usually because something hurtful or painful happened to wake that person up. And for some of you guys, it could have been a lover. All right. And then the Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance saying, go along with the flow. Everything is okay. Heal yourself. Go to your path. All right? The angels are around you. All right? I don't know. I, I picture this as a drink. <laughs> okay? They mixing that drink up for you. At the bottom, you got the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy right now. Somebody's trying to be practical. Somebody's trying to make things a reality. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever your, your wishes are, you're trying to get a long, um, a long term offer, something that, you know, you can have forever. Because the Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth, okay? That's money on top of money on top of money. That's me. That means you don't ever, ever have to check the price tag. Okay, you never ever have to worry about paying a bill. All right, you don't like that's what you want. <laughs> this is what that means. Okay, and you're going along with it. Like you, I feel like you're trusting yourself or the universe. Some of you guys are really spiritual. Like I usually don't really say that, <laughs> but I feel like somebody is like highly spiritual right here, going through some type of like universe type of thing. Okay, I know what that feels for me, <laughs> and I feel like you are going through that. Okay, money where what if money where money is all around us, and it's it's abundance, you guys. Okay, you guys been working. You know if you've been working. <laughs> okay, if you've been trying, because it's all about trying. Okay. It's all about trying, y'all. Completion. You ready for that cycle? <laughs> hmm. The fool at the bottom. Taking a leap of faith. Taking a chance. Do I want to take these? I know I shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Oh! Oh my god okay major arcana again with all of your cards justice at the bottom libra energy we got pisces cancer gemini libra aquarius something was hidden it came to light you guys hallelujah <laughs> somebody something awesome and again another completion another cycle for some of you guys <laughs> I got a collar for what it is. It's some somebody did something. It could have been a lover. It could have been friend. A work workspace. Whatever you want to call it. Legal documents. However, this is resonating with you. 
<sighs> something came to light some truth that was once hidden found his way to the surface because god wanted it to like somebody god handed you that that sword that clarity that you needed all right to complete a, a cycle or a phase and i feel like you feel like you discovered it Wow, this is like the best reading ever. Okay, your Indian card is the world card. Another major arcana. The magician at the bottom. You're manifesting, again, highly spiritual, whoever I'm talking to. You completed a cycle. Okay? This is somebody complete like this cycle in almost every part of their life. Probably with the love you completed that cycle. Probably with like um, your money. Like you're taking it to another level. You're done being in poverty type of cycle. All right, you're done being lied to. You're done things being hidden. No, it's like, God. You complete that cycle. You're starting a new beginning because I saw the fool. All right, and you're manifesting it because you're you're awake. They what you? That's what they say. You're awake, okay? Like Redbone. Now stay woke because they've been creeping. And you've been finding them, catching them sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Like, that's how I feel, and you're done with that. So, congratulations. Because those people we don't need in our life, you're manifesting something beautiful. Let's clarify. I don't even know which cards to clarify with. Uh, people are crazy, y'all. Uh. <laughs> Let me not say crazy, because I don't like that word. People just be doing... <sighs> Stuff that I don't understand. Yeah, justice was served to somebody. I think regarding a lover. I see the Knight of Cups wanting to pop out. Some type of justice was served. Uh -huh. Yeah, angel numbers. Yep, I've been seeing them too. I definitely have. I've been seeing some new ones lately. I always get repeats, but I've been getting some new ones. At least like two or three a day. Yo, I don't even know which cards to use. I don't know. You got like all major arcanas. And I don't know. I feel like using these. These are these feel a little bit more light than the other ones. And I got to break these up. world card the clarity card the star card okay wish is coming true wish fulfillment you guys cycles being done some of you guys you might want to travel the world you might want to travel or you might want to be seen around the world for some of you guys <laughs> whatever your dream is okay it's coming into dreams and wish fulfillment starting off Okay, let's clarify these cards. I'm going to clarify them one by one. And I'm going to take only one card because there's so many. Clarify the lovers. Woo! Woo! Oh my God. Awesome though. Really awesome. The Emperor Aries energy at the bottom. Aries Leo Sagittarius fire energy pair with the lovers. This talks about getting married. This talks about getting engaged. 11 11, a wish come true. Somebody, this is you or this is who you're, you're, you're wanting or to get or manifest or attract. An uh, emperor. The emperor and the empress are the ideal, okay? The, those are the highest couples. Like, that's the couple you want to be, okay? They are a power couple. They, you see that, that crown? They got their money. They got their own business. They're their own boss. Okay? <laughs> okay. The, this talks about, and this is 11-11, angel number 11-11. It's like, somebody wanted, and I don't feel bad energy behind this at all. I, don't feel, I just feel like somebody want, wanted to get married with a, like a soulmate. Clarify the hangman. My eye is twitching. Clarify the hang the hangman. Judgment in the hierophant. Wow. 
two major arcana cards on a on a spear on the hangman and at the bottom the ten of wands letting go of burdens and going after your own dreams and wishes one second you guys and waiting for it to come in because you had to stand your ground all right, the hang per the hang person. Okay, you you had to make a decision. This could be regarding a lover or like some of you guys probably had to choose either you or somebody. The higher front Taurus energy. Somebody had to make a huge decision. All right, that would affect them, other people. Some of you guys, you felt stuck when you had to choose. You had to make a decision, I feel like. The Hierophant is somebody who teaches probably like, um, probably something, probably went against your your values or what you value. Like whatever you believe, I feel like something went against it. <sighs> and it's like, do you choose to go which, after what you believe? Or do you choose something else that you don't believe? In a sense, if that makes sense. And I feel like I feel like you chose you. That was almost hard to get out. And then the Ten of Wands, you let go of something, a burden. You chose to let go of the burden. That's exactly what you chose. But it was something that really affected you. Clarify temperance. <gasps> temperance! <laughs> okay. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy. Sagittarius, somebody could be a fire sign. Temperance, clarifying temperance. The angels are here. The universe is here and they got your back. Okay, Scorpio energy, there's an end. Okay, and the, the full, a new beginning. Oh my God. Look, temperance, clarifying temperance. So that means going with the flow, going after your happiness, don't not giving up on your ideas or whatever wealth that you're wanting don't give up on that don't give up on love either don't give up on yourself like this should actually push you okay <laughs> clarify the ten of pentacles the world card was that the end of y'all reading <laughs> Nine of Wands, something had you on guard. Okay, we just saw the Ten of Wands at the end. The Nine of Wands. Whatever burden you let go, like, trust me, something had you on guard. Okay, I just saw the Empress. The Emperor! Oh, okay, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys, this is a lover. <laughs> yeah, this is a couple for some of you guys. You're done with being in poverty, y'all. Y'all ready for the stacks to come in. You're ready to build your foundation, a solid one. All right, you're ready. You're ready to have your place in the world. Like, basically, you're making yourself a legend in this world, okay? Because I don't, like, even though, like, you want the money, too, I feel like you want your name. Like, I feel like you want to be, like, remembered for what you did or something that you said or... Because it's, I feel like it's more than just the money because you do have family too, you know? I feel like you're a family person. You want to help your family. You want to take care of them, the dogs, all the animals, the cats. All right. I really believe in you. Whoever this is, I really believe in you. Like, you don't even know. Like, I believe in you. And I'm proud of you, okay? I just got to say that. Like, that just made me smile. And because you got two cycles, the ending and the ending, you're, you're going into that phase. I don't know what phase to call it. You know, they say you come out of, out of poverty, out of the rich phase. I don't know. I just feel like you just don't have to struggle. Clarify the moon card. Clarify the moon card. I'm a flirt. <laughs> Soon as you see me walk up in the club, I'm a flirt. You're welcome. You're welcome, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to that song earlier. <laughs> when you see me. But when I step up to it, I'm going to be like, cousin. <laughs> Believe me, man. <laughs> this is how them players do it in the shot. That's exactly what happened, okay? 
<laughs> and that's what you walked away from. <laughs> that's what came to light. That's what, like... Like, I feel like you were probably, feel like you were lost or somebody had you in lies and all this stuff in the dark. Somebody's probably being sneaky and all that stuff came to light. At the end, it only brings happiness. You walked away. I feel like something that you had an emotional attachment to for some of you guys. Person, place, or I'm not going to say a thing. Some people are materialistic, but I'm just saying it was a, I feel like this was somebody, something came to light. Again, the moon card is in here too because it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something came to light and you moved. Some of you guys moved, you traveled, you walked away, you started a new journey, you went after your dis yourself, you went to go discover yourself. <laughs> All right. Some of you guys, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> now, I would say flirt because I feel like, <laughs> look, I feel like somebody that was hiding or lying <laughs> was young and immature and was flirting up a storm y'all all right <laughs> you had to take the strength to get through it and you start working on your money and for other others of you you are aries little sagittarius this could be you all right as well but i'm just gonna say i'm not gonna say all that i was saying the other person was for it young i'm saying more of you you're starting off new you're Fresh, you're ready to go journey you're getting some ideas and you are getting inspired okay whatever hurt you is inspiring you to move forward you're starting off some of you guys could be young or you're just these ideas are new to you or whatever you're wanting to start may be new something that you never really thought about all right look <laughs> leo energy the strength okay like drake said from boy to a man <laughs> No one to cry. I'm in my music phase right now. Um, I'm about, it's singing in my head. I'm not gonna sing this, okay? I can't sing right now. Look, either way, from boy to a man, girl to a woman. All right, you have grown. All right, you took it took a lot of strength and a lot of courage to deal with, to deal with this situation or person. All right, you have to dig deep within yourself. You have to choose how to react to this. How are you going to react? Are you going to be a little ant, a little cockroach? Let me know. <laughs> are you going to be a lion? I mean, that's so, that's, I know that's a big comparison, but that's how true it is. Because you don't know once you fall, some of y'all, we fall so hard. <laughs> so, or do you not fall or do you just rise up? Because that's basically what it was. It was like, you got to decide who you're going to be, what you're going to do, okay? You're going to be this little roach, this little ant, let people walk all over you, try to get in other people's houses and stuff. Like, what, like, what are you going to do? No. Instead, I feel like you decided to be a lion, okay? That's what you should be, a lion. Because you was dealing with liars, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I try to make joke of it. I mean, like, seriously. And then the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo Capricorn, working on your energy, all right, again, whatever ideas that are coming to you, you're using them, you're walking away with them right into your success, right into your Ten of Pentacles. All right, this reading is actually making me really happy because <laughs> I needed it. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Oh, and it's at the bottom. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Sun card, and the Six of Swords. And just clarifying this about the volume, you guys. I love my cards because this is how I know my angels are working with me. Because now they will always clarify each other. I'm speaking truth. Look, you got the clarity that you need. to. It's like you got the okay. <sighs> Take a breath for that. Amen. Like, I feel like you really thought about this situation, and you had to make sure you were okay to uh, with this decision. And you were. Like, somehow, some way you were, because you needed to. You moved forward. You got away. A plan, somehow. All right? To a, a better day. Yeah, this, situ yeah, this situation or person might cross your mind a few. It might come around sometimes in your head. It might affect you or pull on your emotions because you got the boat with the rocky waters and it's more calmer. So sometimes it may make you emotional, but guess what? 
you got happiness and growth the god is giving you the yellow the yellow drip okay the joy the happiness <laughs> So you can move forward. Yeah, you guys move forward. You start working on your money. Now you're focused on your money. The sun card, yes. Happiness. Yes. Your joy. Making your inner child feel good. Okay? Making you happy. Anything that you want. Okay? You can have whatever you like. Like T.I. said, okay? From the universe to you, you can have whatever you like. <laughs> All right? Because you are a part of the universe, and the universe is a part of you, okay? They don't know who you were. This is the video that I shared on my, my Facebook. It was like, she was like, if only they knew who you were when you walked in the room. How they would have treated you. If only they knew who they were speaking to. And I feel like that's you. Dang, why did you want to do that? <laughs> and I got boxes. Why did you flip in the boxes? <laughs> Y'all gonna have to give me a second. My card with MIA. <laughs> it flipped. It like, I think it was, um... Virgo hermit energy <laughs> like it isolated itself literally um y'all gotta give me a second I do gotta look for this cuz oh where did you go all right now I gotta stand up where did you <laughs> you about to have me put all these boxes up I saw it look at something, maybe it didn't. Oh, no. Oh. Woo. You turn off the heater now. <laughs> All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Sorry, I got a whole bunch of boxes. <sighs> Look, <laughs> woo, okay, universe, stop playing, it's hard. Okay, you got Hermit, Virgo energy, clarifying the world card at the bottom of the Empress. Major Arcanas, major Ar Arcanas on top of each other, look. You got change, you got transformation. <laughs> you guys, whatever cycle you completed, it caused you to go within. I could be talking to my Divine Feminine. Maybe you were dealing with the Divine Feminine and that caused you to go within. <sighs> because we have the Empress, okay? This is, remember I said the Emperor and the Empress, this was not just anybody. Ten of Cups, again. This is a lover. Ace of Swords, okay? Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Feeling confused and then getting right out of that energy. Getting your love. Splitting it to the Emperor. <laughs> All right. Whatever happened, whatever cycle this was, it caused you to go within. Some of you guys probably isolated yourself. Some of you guys probably went MIA. I feel like you had to depend on yourself again. You had to love yourself. You had to research and see who you were, okay, on the, out, on the outside and on the inside, you guys. All right, whatever this was, it caused a spiritual growth like no other. And I believe this was for your best, your greatest good, okay, your higher good. You are the star. You are the diamond. You are the jewel. All right, somebody didn't see that. You're also wise. Look at that hair, okay? <laughs> Somebody's wise. You're young and you're wise for some of you guys, and that's a blessing. Like, <sighs> to be young and wise is such a blessing, all right? And I feel like that's you, okay? You're a star. You, like, literally got the star, the necklace. And you're trusting yourself. Wow. And yeah, the Empress at the bottom. All right, she gives unconditional love. She could be mommy type, nurture type. She loves, she knows who she is. She knows what she wants. Again, I always say they always come to the Empress feet, okay? She's never chasing anybody. They always chase her. Or they always chase you, okay? They put it how it fits. <laughs> but they always chase the Empress. She's beautiful. All right, on her throne. 
clacking those nails together. <laughs> she better be in her. If you heard anybody that is this powerful, you messing up. Dang, how long has this reading been? Dang, after picking up that card, I felt like I've been doing this reading for like two hours now. <laughs> okay, let's get let's get one card for I mean not one. Let's get a card for the love. Let's clarify with the love's card. What do we have? We got cassette. Period. <laughs> Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. That's where the, that comes in. Probably because you have to make this decision. And it probably replays in your head like, dang. And I feel like some of you guys, somebody put you in a situation where you had no choice but to choose yourself. That's why judgment came up. It was like, you had to find yourself. You had to start loving and depending on yourself again. And um, I feel like some of you guys, I feel like you love this person. I feel like you really saw a deep, bright future and getting married, taking it far to the world. And I feel like this person hurt you for some of you guys. And guess what? I feel like I feel like you loved them a little bit too much. I think you loved them more than you loved your, loved yourself. And I, that's I'm gonna tell you guys that's where the problem came in too. All right, because when you love somebody more than you love yourself, you lose yourself. All right, and you you don't some of you guys, what happens to you? Stop having you don't some of you guys you it just naturally happens. We stop looking to God in the universe. We start going to them for our happiness, and when something's wrong, we go to them something's good we go to them too and it was just like and then like what about yourself you know what do you do for yourself and i feel like that's where the problem came in now i'm not saying whatever they did however they hurt you but i feel like this was about you this is about you waking up to the fact of who you are all right and yes you may have somebody put you in a situation like dang like i really had to do this like i really had to choose me over you and i feel like sometimes that that's what's replaying all right ain't nothing wrong with that because we move forward and you do you got the six of swords and that's your outcome hammer okay let's see what it says <laughs> oh, i never saw this okay this one says hammer it says sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it right somebody could have self-sabotaged themselves in this connection somebody cannot be trying to work on themselves somebody's working on their business and trying to be persistent dang that's a lot oh this is the one i was looking at and it came out dang i didn't want to read it because i couldn't read the word but now i gotta read it <laughs> Oh, it's so cute, but I, I'm like, what? It was this one. It said, girl with a snake. This is what I was looking at because I saw the word empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. And I was like, huh? Why would that show up? Like somebody's like, some of you guys, if you're interested in a female, I'm going to say this, be careful. I don't know how to say that. An empath and a narcissist? Damn, like, y'all. Who, who are y'all dealing with? <laughs> who is y'all dealing with? Like, somebody understood you, like, understood your pain and, and knew exactly what you went through, but put you exactly through it? In a sense, like, what the heck? Was charming and using people? And for other you guys, you're like, or somebody was trying to choose to be like, am I a good or a bad person type of deal? Like, what the heck is this? <laughs> what? I might have to clarify with a tarot. I'm going to clarify that with a tarot. I've never done that. But I need to because I need to understand what this is. Somebody, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting one to date. Boat. Again, you got the Six of Swords. The boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. And not enough. Frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear, ego issues, jealousy. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Somebody who had an addiction. 
Codependent, it could be to somebody, of course. Codepen codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. Okay, well, they all came out, so they came out for a reason. Actually, I'm going to clarify with the original tarot. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Clarify, girl with the snake. <gasps> Page of Wands! I'm a flirt! <laughs> it's that person! They might try to come back around, some of you guys. They might try to come back around. They got some nerves. <laughs> wow. Wow. They got some nerves trying to take a risk. Oh, somebody's trying to get up the courage to start a new beginning with you. If you walked away from this person, this person might be hurting for some of you guys. They're trying to hold on to you spiritually. Like a spiritual connection. Like you ever think about them and they pop up in your head type of deal. Oh, somebody's effed up. Y'all better not go back to that. <laughs> Whoever that is. They over, they over here got me really like digging digging deep right now to get this message. Okay, let's let's get a time frame. Okay, time is it. Okay. Come on, Ayana. Let's go. Sorry, y'all. Those all came out. Let's get one card for the time frame. Just one card. Let's get one card. Somebody has been sacrificing, working to build a firm foundation. It's going to pay off. Get one card for a time frame. Wow. <laughs> 16 days, 16 weeks. 16 days, 16 weeks. Disruption. Mm hmm Y'all, somebody might... I feel like somebody from the past, you guys might try to come back around too within this time frame. <sighs> I gotta be honest, this is exactly what I'm seeing. <laughs> Hello, Luke it, Lucas. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Whew, yeah, I gotta tell you guys. <laughs> somebody might try to come back around and disrupt you. Why you got all this success. Did you hear the word I said? Success. Not failure. Success. Somebody might see you doing good and might try to come back around. Saying they like you. you, you already, if you've heard this, you already know who I'm talking about. They might try to come back around 60, 16 days, 16 weeks, okay? Other than that, give that time. Give it for this time for you too for like your business and stuff, okay? 16 days, 16 weeks to work and keep going within, seeing what you want, shutting apart the things that, that, that you don't want, and then keeping the things that you do, okay? At the bottom, number six, material and spiritual prosperity, okay? For some reason, I'm being told to shuffle one more time for a time frame. Because I feel like that was more of somebody coming back for some reason. I feel like that wasn't to my original. So if you're wondering when somebody might try to come back, that's probably why. Because I just don't feel like that was for me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get one. I know I'm contradicting right now. Not contradicting. I'm just I'm following my intuition. My intuition is saying, get it. pull one more card. That's what I want. I want to fall. Number eight. Eight days, eight weeks, eight months. We did have uh, 16, right? <laughs> I guess that's half of it. <laughs> Literally. So that's perfectly fine. Eight days, eight weeks, eight months. To, you know, to keep working on your business, a lot of money to come in. All right. Withdraw from emotional... Things that um, affect your emotions in a negative way during this time frame, that's the best time to um, pull away from those things. Um, you need to withdraw yourself from all these emotional things that keep you down because that blocks your, abundant, your abundance, that uh, blocks your manifesting. So whatever it is, if you have thoughts, you guys, or people around you <sighs> that try to keep you down or, you know, keep you in a bad state it's time for you to move forward emotionally and let that go don't let that control your emotions okay and i see you sitting there really going within like the hermit going within finding yourself some of you guys probably can travel somewhere to just 
like in nature <laughs> or to a beach or a lake, however you might want to get out and just go sit there at a park for some of you guys. Because you need to withdraw and you need to allow yourself to get grounded. Alright, let's pull from my moon cards. Let's see what you guys have to say because this was interesting. Like, this was every level. Like, this was every part of your life. It was like every part. Your finances, your love, even yourself. But you do it. And we let go of fear, okay? So, I'm going to take all of these. We're setting healthy boundaries with other people and with ourselves. That means we're not allowing anybody to come in and hurt us. If we don't want things that way or if you don't want to um, compromise in this relationship or business, then I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting, it, accepting anything less than I deserve because I'm highly awake to what I truly deserve, okay? So you're setting healthy, boundary, healthy boundaries. You're just not letting anybody come in. You're protecting your soul, your spirit, your mind, your energy, okay? Your mentality. Path number eight again. Some of you guys may see angel number 88, 10, 10. We got number eight, the path. You are on the right path. So if you're wondering, are you on the right path? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, you 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 see the ladder. Now all you gotta do is climb up it, okay? Cause that's your happiness. That's your where you go sit at the beach and you sit there. You like <sighs> your own beach though. You know, with your own you know house or condo in the back of you. And you're sitting there, or you're sitting there on the porch, okay? And you look at it. You see the beach. You like you take that deep breath. You like wow, like <sighs> I really made it here, okay? That's your path. You are on it again, you guys. This could talk about physical attraction to people because <laughs> beauty is right after. <laughs> so you guys, um, you might have a physical attraction to somebody. Uh, I don't like saying when I stands, but you know, hookups. <laughs> All right, I got to say that. I don't know why. That's just for you to take that how you want. And these are you guys choosing how you react, okay? How are you going to react along your path? Are you going to let people easily anger you or what? Are you, are you going to stay in your element? Remember what I said. Are we going to be the... the are we going to be the ant or the cockroach or are we going to be the lion? All right, because cause the, the cockroach and ant, they ain't, that's why I'm saying like, and I know you something. I know you a lion. And I got to tell myself this so it's like... Because I feel so low when I allow myself to act out of anger and hate and pain instead of really taking that break. And so that's why I'm saying you guys really remind yourself how to respond to situations. Don't allow yourself to get so heated to where it makes you impulsive, okay? You got this. Take your time and breathe. Because you're beautiful. Your path that you're on is beautiful. All right, you see the beauty in nature and in other, you definitely see the beauty in other people, okay? And there's a lot of growth around you. Things around you are going to make you happy, okay? And this is really pretty, okay? So being at one with the nature, okay? With the universe. Let's move forward. <laughs> Look, we're doing a one-on-one -on -one right now. <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's get one from the light cards. Because I know I can resonate. Let's get one from the light cards. What do we have? Yeah, I got so many messages. The initiation. Rite of passage crossing the thresh threshold. <laughs> So you guys, the universe is, you know how they do games. <laughs> I don't even know what talk about. You know how they be, um initiation and games and stuff like the universe is initiating you into the universe <laughs> that's good yes you guys the universe they're about to let you in on a secret like they're about to accept you like they're about to accept you like they're about to be on your side oh so they're about to be on that means when the universe accepts you they work with you for the rest of your life to get you every thing that your heart desires okay they give you nothing but the best they they push up your intuition for you to see through see through things and people that no longer serve you they give you that voice to speak up they give you the heart to love unconditionally they give you that mind with the knowledge and wisdom to pass down and make the best decisions for your higher self okay they are putting you on game basically okay universe <laughs> Wow, the storm you were in, the darkness you were in, they cracked that open. 
and again like the beach something about the beach or the water is just like just chilling okay drinking having some drinks chilling rest okay splitting that into rest wanting to be held and having fun okay listen to our intuition all right gotta come on let's go we got dinner in there <laughs> oh yeah i gotta go make my dinner okay the crumbling what are you clinging on to you guys again you've been enlightened what are you clinging on to remember i said that emotional drama or that emotional baggage that tries to come in our mental sometimes sometimes we may be holding on to that and we might not even be aware like sometimes we'll be thinking about it and we catch ourselves thinking about it like oh my god those are things we need to let go of okay awakening oh, energetic upgrades a new way of being integration becoming one with yourself becoming one with the universe with god the angels your own ancestors on top of that okay your vibrations are rising to another level you guys like oh my god we're hitting another dimensions that's what it means that means we are we're not operating from my from our ego from our pain from our hurt we're operating from a place of unconditional love we're not coming from materialistic place even though we know we need materialistic things to be able to survive in the 3d world but we understand that 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 does not control our path and who we are. It does not affect our emotions or our discernment. <sighs> Somebody is being awake, okay? Or awakened. Beautiful. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Again, so you guys, that's why extremes came up. Some of you guys get easily triggered, easily angry, and that's okay. When you notice that, pay attention to that work on that. When you start acknowledging it, that's the first step. When you can choose a plan of how you can not do that, that's the next step. And when you can actually practice that and do it, then that's that's when you've accomplished more than you've already known, okay? That's just, like, give yourself grace, okay? Whatever is triggering you, you you can move forward, okay? Ah, these are so awesome. Star seed, my fellow star seed. Oh my God, what lights you up? What makes you happy? What makes you feel good? Like you want to get up in the world, play some music, cook, and get up clean and, and give back to the world. I'm feeling that vibe. I'm feeling that energy. It feels so good, you guys. It was like a brighter day. I feel like I'm tapping into your energy. It feels so good. Like, whatever you want to do, you can do it. And you'll be supported by the universe. Because you're a, a light worker. It says men talking, okay? Longing for a home, belonging the original light workers. Again, some of you guys, you may feel like, like you... I'm not saying a relationship or you just feel like you want to be around people or a certain company who get you or share your interests or business owners or like you guys may do the same type of business or share the same spiritual views for some of you guys. However, that's resonating, whatever it is, I feel like you want to be around that group, okay? They're always around you for one, spiritually and then physically they'll start to come to you okay and you they'll come to you when the in divine timing when the time is right when you're ready for the people they will come to you so don't ever worry but you are their light worker okay you're a star seed a light worker you're here to help humanity and you're here but you got a good loving heart here to help humanity and to do it without a nine to five basically your own boss you're already doing it you guys you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Some of you guys are doubting your path yourself sometimes. And guess what? Oh, I said this. I knew it. You you know, you doubt yourself sometimes along your path. And that's okay because we're human. Okay? But we're spiritual beings having human experiences. So don't ever forget that because that's more valid. Okay? Humans, I mean, being a human, of course, we experience the emotions. We That's how we got to go through life and experience to set our soul free. Look, you guys, don't worry. You're on your right path. Like, literally, literally on the right path. And it's beautiful. Look at you. And some of you guys, you are all alone right now. You're feeling alone. Because every picture I see, like, literally, I got to show you. Every picture I see is, is just one person. It's just you. Like the universe is around you and they're lifting you up. They're getting you to see and look in the mirror at yourself. 
and it's you looking at the universe. <laughs> you talking to them too. <laughs> and you you you's like you're a star, like your family is in the stars, y'all. All right, and this is you again. Now you at the ocean, at the beach. <laughs> All right, and now you're in the woods, okay? Like, dude, this is just you. So you guys are just solo and you still doing it. All right, and then the ancestors, keeper of the earth, okay? And now your ancestors... <laughs> now your ancestors are showing you that they're right above you, watching down, or right beside you, you guys, all over, literally, while you pray to them. When you're in your head, they hear you, they watch you. All right, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Beautiful. Like, literally. They stand beside you, protecting you, guiding you. That's why truth comes to light. Because anything that somebody tries to do behind your back, any bad intentions, the universe, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guys, they got you. They got your back. That happiness you want, they leading it to you. That's why they separated you. Literally, because that person didn't deserve what you are. You're something special. Whew, somebody somebody had a vampire attached to their energy, literally. I call them vampires. <laughs> a vampire, somebody who sucks your energy, y'all. Uh, coming bird at the bottom. And that's okay, we all get those. We all do. And when we, it's just when you do, you just gotta walk away. And usually it's the people we love, but hey, that's life. That's when you say that's just life, okay? Because that's out of your control. You can't control what other people do. That's what they should say, okay? Let's give us Kangaroo. Kangaroo. I thought about that movie with the Kangaroo Jack when he was fighting. So you guys maybe, <laughs> he was jumping in the air ready to box. So you guys maybe, maybe a little feisty. <laughs> ready to fight <laughs> we got kangaroo it says stability faith determination you're being guided to take action and think big take back your power leap over any obstacles and build your desires on a solid foundation forge ahead without looking back and create emotional fulfillment while staying grounded being true to yourself and having faith in the unknown Wow, my third eye just went off my my shocker. Wow. That was just like, whew. I feel like the hangman. Like, I just got a headache, you guys. I got a headache right now. When I said think big. Because <laughs> I just feel like this was just so real right now. I feel like it just hit me. I don't know why. I feel like it just suddenly just hit me. Like, whew. Okay. Having faith in the unknown. The universe tomorrow. Wow, I just got a major headache. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Again, leaping over any obstacles. You dodging people. Not today. Not today, okay? Wow, I just got a headache. <laughs> wow. People, some of you guys may get headaches, migraine. Some of you guys may have ideas and it gives you headaches. <laughs> Some of you guys, you have a dream so big it may give you a headache. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Ah, truth. Ah, true. <laughs> I walk my path to self-discovery by living within my truth and following my passions. You're being honest and true to yourself. Amen to that. And allowing yourself to go through this. Because it's, it's happening for you, not to you. Let's pour from the angels. Wow. That just like blew my mind. Wow. Wow. Angels, what do we have? Raise a promotion for some of you guys. <gasps> I saw it because I thought it wanted to come out and I looked at it. Then, if, yeah, okay, okay, universe. <laughs> Attracting, not chasing. All right, we're not. Player, I gotta read this. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way. 
because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, I was saying this. We'll read this one first. Where is our promotion? And I feel like the universe is smiling at you, like, we got you, you don't even know, like, like, we got you, you don't even know what we got for you, like, you just don't even know, okay? <laughs> we got something that's gonna light that crown chakra on fire, okay? It says, congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. The universe is telling you good job. Ah, I'm happy for you. A quiet retreat. What did I say? What did I say? It's time to disconnect. This is why you got the time frame eight. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Ah, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, all these cards are clarifying the whole reading. A amen. So this is you. So you're going within because you need time for yourself, okay? So you can make the best and the right decision. So you're not feeling like you, you didn't do it right or you have to go back and redo it no like you feel like you need to understand what's truly your feelings and emotions and again some of you guys somebody is spiritually contacting you so don't confuse them wanting you with you wanting them for some of you guys okay yeah yeah don't okay so <laughs> i'm glad you like it okay look so yeah some of you guys don't confuse those two that's why they're saying you know and if you're stuck you guys some of you guys may feel a little bit stuck because the hangman okay yeah he can and if you are, they're telling you that you need time for yourself and you really just need to be alone with your own thoughts, okay? Literally probably meditating for like a few hours, like no no person talking to you, no cell phone, you guys. Like some of you guys can probably just smoke and meditate like what, or play some, some meditation music, that's fine. And I'm not talking about music with words, like literally like meditation music, what is it, HZ, hurts like the like universal tones and beats, okay? ones that release negative energy, mental blocks, like those types of meditations, either outside or if you're in, at home, try to do it by yourself, sage and stuff. And then you will have clarity about what to do next with your business, with, with yourself and other people around you. That's literally what's going to give you. They're going to give you the clarity that you're asking for if you listen to them and if you take this time out for yourself. Amen. Because you are. And you do. You do. Because guess why? Hangman. Spiritual awakening. You make the decision. All right? You make it a reality, okay? And the hermit. You go within. So this letting me know you're listening. You're, you're doing it. My ears are going off. Angels are around, y'all. Angels are around, y'all. I feel like they're happy, they're proud. Like, ding, ding, ding. Like, yes, you get it, you get it. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Every now and then, okay? Good job. Oh, yeah. Sleep cards. Because what time is it? It's 1.44. That's a good angel number. <sighs> Let's get a practice that can help people sleep. I might do you versus them later on when the light comes up. I be I wait I sleep throughout. I mean I stay awake throughout the whole night and sleep through the morning. But I need to get up. I'll read them. I am and I spread love. All right, let's see what we got for you guys. <laughs> It says, all for the best, okay? We got three, I'll read them awesome that you can do. It says, lying in bed at the end of the day, you have done all your duties. You have lived through the day, amen. Tomorrow is yet to unfold and there is no way of controlling it. Everything is as it should be. It's all for the best. You don't have to fix, plant, or do anything anymore. You may rest. Close your eyes and repeat this mantra. Everything is as it should be. It's all for the best. I can rest. Wow. Wow, I hope that resonated with you. Wow, I'm really resonating with that. 
okay so you've done everything you could do you've probably worked a little bit you probably worked on your mental thought about who you are what you want to do all right not allow yourself to really worry about tomorrow because you can't control it all you can do is live through it and create it by taking action right so it's not there yet so it's allowing yourself to realize i don't have control the universe does they're con and they're actually guiding me so everything is actually okay everything is exactly how it should be everything has been going to to plan in divine right timing all right everything that has happened is for the best for that day and every day really you don't have to do anything, but right now it's time for you to rest because I feel like you're about to walk into something big. Some of you guys are walking into the world, and it's just like, right now, go ahead and rest. Everything is as it should be. It's all for the best. I can rest. I love that. Okay, wrapped up in cotton. It says, lie down on your bed and close your eyes. Focus on calming your breathing. When you're calmer, start imagining that your bed is made of light, fluffy cotton wool. It's safe and so delightfully easy to drift into sleep in this magical softness of cotton wool around you. Life is soft and easy. So you guys, that means getting your favorite blanket, putting that fan on you at night and snuggling up with yourself, okay? Probably playing some music, you got the TV on, maybe the lights, or maybe like a dark, like however you like it, okay? Get snuggled with your blanket and allow yourself to feel good. Some of you guys probably like to sleep with, like, with just underwear on. My females, it could be bra and panties or just panties <laughs> my my males it could probably just be underwear <laughs> i'm not gonna say by nigga yeah <laughs> but so you know and feeling the fabric okay that will feel good to some of you guys <laughs> all right help you sleep y'all and then sense the comfort okay snuggle up in your bed how comfortable does the mattress feel how soft is the pillow under your head how warm are you under the duvet how peaceful and safe is the room? How fortunate you are to feel all this comfort and warmth. <sighs> sigh a sigh of relief and gratitude. It is safe to fall asleep, okay? I am blessed to feel this comfortable. So this is laying down, being, I, I feel like really being thankful for some of you guys having a bed, having a blanket, even a pillow, because I know it can be tough. Like, it really can, okay? And it's saying, you know, being... Like, feeling like, dang, like, I really have this that will make you feel better. And then being able to be like, ah, take a deep breath. I'm like, yes, I did it, okay? And that helps you fall asleep, okay? I love it. All right, that does conclude the reading. But you guys know I, I am going to do a quick recap, okay? Because, wow. Wow, awesome read, okay? This talks about every element. <laughs> so, you guys, let's do a quick recap. You guys, we were dealing with the lover. We were dealing with somebody we wanted to love. Somebody we wanted to be with forever. A soulmate, possibly twin flame. But somebody had a spiritual awakening. Somebody had to be enlightened to some type of truth of reality. And had to make a decision. Choosing themselves. I feel like moreover, this love. All right. Temperance clarifying the temperance. <laughs> oh yeah, let me call out the signs. I I like hearing them when I'm when I hear readings. So we got Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pop, and this is a sign that you could have been dealing with, or this could be you. Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus. Okay, we got Sagittarius. So, after you making a decision, you decide to just move forward, trusting the universe, trusting yourself, healing yourself, moving forward. So, what, yeah, whatever decision you made, and I feel like you picked yourself, of course, you walked away from that. You chose yourself in the universe, you're going along with the flow, you're trusting, okay? It's beautiful. Alright, you got the pinnacles. <laughs> The Pinnacles in the Road card. So you're completing the cycle of being in poverty. For some of you guys, you're working on your own business. You're making your own money. You want money you can pass down. You don't ever have to worry about, okay? Some of you guys, you may put a business out that can reach the whole world. And that's how you bring in your money. Whatever it is, it's like you're going down for a legend and for your money, okay? So you can take care of, I feel like really taking care of your loved ones. Some of you guys may have kids, animals, family, 
um, grandfathers, uncles, aunties, all that, cousins. <laughs> it don't stop. Grand, look, grandmothers, all those, you guys. All of them, y'all. All of them. That's you want to be that person that can be like, oh, you need some, like, and you don't even have to worry, and because you're doing it from the kindness of your heart. And I'm not saying people are taking advantage now, but I'm saying like you got the will to help, because I feel like you do want to help. You have the light worker, and um, <laughs> don't make me forget. I know <laughs> it's Star Seed. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was Star Seed. Okay, yeah. All right, you're clean the cycle. You're done. All right, something was done in the dark, you guys. So, and again, that's what came to light, but it caused a, a big transformation, a big change in your life. All right, again, and we did clarify the page of wands in here because I said, who was this person, you guys? It says girl with a snake, somebody who was an empath and probably a narcissist. And again, I said they probably was understanding what you were going through. They probably been through some of the things that you went through, but like, this person really would, like they had a, a pull on your emotions, like... They have some part of your soul, I feel like. But there was a narcissist, y'all. They was charming and using people, okay? Something came to light. You completed a cycle. You completed a phase. You're, you've been... Actually, you, I feel like you don't even know this, you, you guys. But I feel like from the beginning... Like, even before you even started dating this person, because, of course, we come into the universe with angels already. But I feel like before you even truly knew what this situation was or was going to bring about, like, the universe was already there with you. Like, they already knew what was going to happen. And I'm not saying, like, oh, they put you through it. No, because you have free will. All right? And at that time, if you weren't really spiritual, now you are. That could have been a thing, too, okay? So if you went through it, I feel like the angels was always around you, okay? Because, you know, sometimes when we get hurt, you know, people can really go crazy, take their lives and all that stuff. I feel like the universe really tried to lift you up, okay? Because the tempers came out twice. World card twice. All right? Major arcana in every pool. So, you know, this was happening. They were guiding you and, like, they kind of just put you in that state to our, in the right time, they let you discover what you needed to discover, basically, is what I'm saying. All right? Because <laughs> somebody was a flirt, you guys. Somebody was being young, dumb, and mature. And trust me, you guys, they do get their karma because that's just life, all right? That's what I say. You couldn't control their actions, what they do, but you can control... <laughs> you can control yours, Okay? <laughs> Ooh, I feel like Courage the Cowardly Dog, y'all. Somebody was a coward. Look. <laughs> Not me. I'll just say it, like, because I started studying. Look. Either way, somebody was. You have to get the strength to walk away. You start working on your money. For some of you guys, you started off new. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo. You actually, you could have been dealing with one of those signs, too. But you decided to start off new, you know, go on your new journey, listen to the ideas. You're paying attention to them. What can you do with these ideas? How can you make them practical? How can you flip this these ideas into something good and something big? How, and you're starting off new and you're taking your first step, okay? It's taken a lot of strength, a lot of courage to move forward and do this, and you have. All right, you completed the cycle. You've, you've discovered the truth. You're wearing your crown, all right? You're beautiful. You're strong. And beautiful <laughs> all right walking straight up into happiness okay and looking at yourself too like looking at yourself like dang i came a long way i came a long way look at all that strength like looking at her younger self you guys like dang but i'm doing it three of pentacles working on your money your business again your career whatever it is that's bringing you in pentacles you're working at it and people are seeing it look people actually notice what you do like whether you want to admit it to yourself or not you're good at what you do anything you want to do anything you put your mind to you're good at all right you're artists you create you create your own reality you manifest so whatever it is that you want to do it brings in money naturally because you're good at it and you don't do it for selfish reasons for some of you guys okay because you got a heart <laughs> and not everybody got a heart like i gotta say that people got everybody got hearts y'all how did i clarify these oh yeah just like this all right, then you have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo. So you got the clarity that you needed. All right, you have it now for sure. <laughs> 
from the universe. It's supposed to make you happy. Remember dripping yellow, making you happy. Growth. I'm seeing the colors yellow and green. Growth and happiness from whatever um, clarity that you got. Okay, on your mental was clarified because you moving away. They. I feel like the universe encouraged you to move forward and push you forward, and you did. You move forward. And again, emotional baggage try to come forward and come back up in your head and replay, but you're moving forward, okay? To calmer waters, better days, you're moving forward. You got away. The one that got away, okay? The sun. <laughs> and you're walking right into your happiness. I don't think you guys see it, but this person is like, they're selling right into the sun card. And this person probably don't even see it or might not even know how big the... the the sun is all right but you're, you're going there happy times it's one of my favorite cards all right and you got the sun and the moon ah the sun and the moon you guys a perfect combination your your moon probably hurt you and you bossed up in your sun energy okay the moon and the sun okay the yin and the yang oh, oh. Cause I could definitely relate. <laughs> the hermit card with the world card. <laughs> All right, you're done with this cycle. You're going within. Some of you guys, you're going within to see how you can reach your business to the world. What? I just saw that. <laughs> if that's you. Congratulations. All right. Either way, you're going within. You're realizing that you're not going to accept the past. You're not going to accept karmic cycle, karmic people, anything, anybody that wants to put you through any type of pain or BS. Okay? Not that. Is it? Okay. 111. Yeah. I actually saw that earlier. That's the three of wands. 111, I just looked up that angel number two recently. <laughs> Look. Oh, for this video? Oh, okay, let me get off. Wait, wait, okay, if you look. Go with it, you guys. You complete the cycle. You realize you're not going to be hurt, okay? And thank you. I'm about to get off. <laughs> thank you. Wow. 111 means something. We're making wishes and dreams come true, y'all. Thank you for that. Because I was actually wondering. Didn't feel that long. Look, okay. Let me read these now. Somebody that you were dealing with. Okay. It says fear. I mean, it says not enough. Oops. God forgive me. It says not enough. It says frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear, ego, issues, jealousy. Okay. Um, it says boat, receiving what you need from the universe, moving forward, getting the closure. Somebody might come back around, you guys. This page of wands, this person who hurt you, or the girl with the snake, this empath slash narcissist, you guys, <laughs> um, might try to come back and to say they like you. But be careful, all right? Because I feel like you also got other people who like you. So be, you know, you got options, okay? Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replay events over your head. We're letting that go, all right? Somebody, it says hammer. Somebody self-sabotage themselves, all right? But you're rebuilding, you're working on it, and you're working on your business. Your time frame is eight. Again, if you were talking about somebody coming back, give that. It says 16 days, 16 weeks. Somebody might try to reach back out to you. All right, but eight days, eight weeks, eight months for this to unfold. So you guys, your pinnacles as well. It might take some time, but it will build up into the wealth that you want. And to be honest, eight is very, very um, low to me. So that's good, okay? We're setting healthy boundaries with people and ourselves. We're not allowing anybody to come in with their dirty feet to walk all over our heart and our lives. All right. We're making them walk on the mat and stand there. Okay. And take off their shoes before they walk into our home. <laughs> the path. <laughs> your path is here. The light. You're moving into brighter days. You're coming out of the darkness. You can see the bigger picture. Amen. The bigger picture of where you want to be. And you're heading there. Okay. You're putting in the steps. The plans. Choose how you react, all right? Don't let things get you e easily angered for some of you guys, all right? You're beautiful. You find beauty in nature and the people around you. You can see deep within them, and that's beautiful. And you are beautiful just for that, okay? 
<sighs> my light cards, the crumbling, what are you clinging on to that you need to let go of? You're having an awakening for you guys. Again, the hangman, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration, mirror who or what is triggering you guys, star seed, what lights you up, mentakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light work. Ah, light workers, <laughs> you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep tra keep facing your true north. Keepers of the earth, you guys, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Kangaroo, stability, faith, determination for your spirit animal. Moving forward, setting solid foundations. Um, looking at the bigger picture and actually taking action, taking back your power, leaping over any obstacles and building a, a solid foundation, you guys. Not looking back at the past, going after your emotional fulfillment and getting grounded and being true, your true authentic self in this world. All right, truth. That's your positive affirmation on that you, okay? You walk, it says, I walk my path with self. I walk my path to self-discovery by living within my truth and following my passions. Raise or promotion is in your view. Your business, again, you're coming into that ten of pentacles. All right, it's coming. Keep up the good work and quiet retreat. Take time to dis, um, disconnect from the world and other people so that you may make the best decision for your higher good, for your higher self, okay? So you can know what to do next for to help you sleep. Um... Say everything, it says all for the best. Everything is as it should be. It's all for the best. I can rest. I like that one. Being wrapped up in cotton, life is soft and easy. And since the comfort, I am blessed to feel this comfortable, you guys, okay? That concludes your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, boo, <laughs> for sticking, okay? So much love. I'm actually going to text you. <laughs> you guys, go ahead, subscribe like comment share book a full reading for 25 or a mini reading for 15 you guys it's late i'll show it tomorrow okay <laughs> stay tuned for my product because i will be selling it um or showcasing it tomorrow or later on today because i guess i'll see you guys later stay safe and again congratulations on your spiritual journey you are doing fine okay you're walking right into happiness and take a deep breath you got this okay look at that at the top okay you got this bye you guys until tomorrow